to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of trouble and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It's a consolation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep. To sleep perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rock, for in that sleep may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the laws delay, the insolence of office, the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his coy dismiss with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose bosom puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have, than fly to others we know not of. This conscience does make cowards of us all, and enterprises of great pitch and moment, with this regard their currents turn awry. Loose the name.